Why are we still here? Just to suffer? You feel it too, don't you? No oh, shit. Well, it's been about ten years since this whole stupid thing started, and eight years since I kind of got into it. Actually, kind of is an understatement. If you have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, let me help you out. Get out from under that rock! This is more of a personal retrospective, but obviously you have to give context of why this whole stupid garbage exists in the first place. In the far-off year of 2010, in the land of 4chan, an individual by the name of The Zam decided to make a couple threads about this particular show. Thanks, dude, I appreciate it! People were actually getting into it, and thus, My Little Pony General was born. Also, someone coined the term Brony. I sincerely wish they went with Pony Bro. Like a cancer had spread to places like YouTube, DeviantArt, even spawning its own fan-made websites. Probably reached your classroom, too. Back on 4chan, other people got annoyed with it so much it got banned and had to have its own containment board. This board is disgusting. <laughs> I love it. You did that to me, Homer. You did that to me. And that's the story of all about how all our lives got flipped up, turned upside down. Now take a moment, sit right there, and I'll explain to you just how the hell did I get here? I'm just gonna sit back and get comfy, because I have a lot to say. <laughs> now to get back to that whole retrospective part, which is a whole point of this particular video. Back in the innocent days, my innocent days of the internet, I just mainly watched a bunch of crap on YouTube and went to a few Flash game sites. That's about it. Eventually, I want to say around 2009. Basically, yeah, back then around 2009, 2010, I discovered this website called The Panic Button Blog. You can still find archives of this site. I'll probably be able to leave an uh, link in the description. And this place introduced me to internet culture, what it was at the time. It basically discontinued in 2010, when it started in 2008. And apparently it got pretty damn popular. They said there was like a, a million unique hits on it. Well, not unique, but that doesn't matter. Like, it got a lot of attention, I guess. Like, that place introduced me to Smosh, Fred. I loved that shit at the time. That was a beautiful time. <laughs> and, uh, let's see. Yeah. And I browsed that site for a good while. And here I am, s sounding like the Pizza Face Teen from The Simpsons. Sir, I want to say around 2010, I still kind of browse that website to see if there's any... Basically, you click this button, which is the panic button, and it takes you just to a random part of the website. I didn't... At the time, I was a smooth-brained little little babu, and I didn't quite understand website design, or if how I would want to navigate to particular parts of the website. So I just kept clicking that stupid button, just to see if there's any little pieces I didn't see before. But eventually, I kind of started to notice little things like watermarks. Yeah. There was a watermark called Senor Gif. So I decided to open up a new tab. I think tabs existed there. Whatever. I opened up a new tab and I typed in Senor Gif and it took me 
to meme base. And since uh, and since that uh, panic button was, you know, discontinued, that guy, that guy Sam, he's still making YouTube videos to this day. You should be able to find him. Uh, I'll link link to that channel uh, in the description because he's like doing like short filmmaking now. And that's really cool. I, I need to sit there and watch those videos, see what they are. But basically, I, I find meme base. That's my replacement for the next two years, one and a half, whatever. I don't remember the time frame specifically. Yeah, basically, that was my uh, replacement. And... For a while, I just sat there and browsed particular parts of the website every night without fail for a good while. Like, yeah, there's Rage Comics, Demotivational Posters, I think Photobombed, uh, what else was there? The main meme base part itself. I don't really remember what else. Now, my assumption, I'll correct myself with this space I have here. Uh, event, I believe in 2012, this is probably where this particular part of the website began. It took a while for me to notice, but eventually I look in the little list of where you can go. I, I see something that I just didn't see before. It said, My Little Brony. Sir, 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 come here, come here, come here, sir. What did you just say to me? I'm like, what? What is that? I've never, s I know what that that is. Like, I know what MLP is. Like, at the time, what, comes into your head is that DVD you saw at Kmart or Big Lots or whatever. Oh, God. So I, out of curiosity, I click on that. And as I'm browsing through it, I basically... there There's this one rage comic that I have to find and I hope it's still there and that in another particular picture that I remember basically explaining what the hell I was looking at and so I understood and I got a little curious <laughs> now back I want to say it was either 2009 or 2010, I finally got satellite internet. I just had basic 12, cha 13 channel cable up to that point, and I was a little child in 2010. I was like 12, so I didn't particularly know what the hell a piracy even was. The only way I could watch Cartoon Network was from the website. Like, that's where I watched Foster's Home and, uh, like, Dial M for Monkey, a bunch of Dexter's Laboratory, a bunch of, uh, the whole first season of Ben 10, because I only had three, four, and the two movies on DVD. They didn't have a second season, so that's basically the only part of that show I've never watched. You know, and that's the type of shit I watched back then. That's the only way I could have access to those types of cartoons. So, before that, it was just Kids WB, and which turned into to Kids CW, I think. I remember when Johnny Test first aired. <laughs> Does anybody 
remember Eon Kid. Please tell me. Oh, by the way, I never got to watch Magi Nation because of those damn jewelers selling their shit. It always... It's airing, but it doesn't air for me because that jeweler shit is in front of it. Like, I don't... Like, you would see the last minute of that show... Oh, at like 7.30 a.m. or something. I think that's when it began. But fuck that shit. I hated that. A whole show I was denied. Basically, uh, yeah. That's all I really had with programming that I was particularly interested in at the time. Then we got Dish Network. And I got Just Nick. Not Nicktoons, not Team Nick, just regular old Nick. Cartoon Network, just Cartoon Network, not Boomerang. Just Disney Channel, not Disney XD. So basically all I had access to was like Wizards of Waverly Place, Sunny with a Chance, Good Luck Charlie, I, I was the perfect age for that shit at the time, 2010, 12 years old. I, I look at, like, Victoria Justice and I'm like, hmm, hmm, yes. <laughs> like, that's all I really had. But we also had the hub. So basically, what I did is, I... My sleep schedule is all over the frickin' place. Sometimes I stay up all night, sometimes I don't. I got nothing to do. I don't have much to do. And that's the way it was at the time. I could do that. And it was daytime and I was pretty tired. So I turned on the TV. I went, I went, I pressed the side button, went up to the hub. And I kind of fast-forwarded to when the show would air. Like, reruns. There was a couple episodes that would air for like an hour. And I, I pressed that record button. And I recorded it. So I went to bed. That, that night I got up. Closed my damn door. And... Oh my god, and I watched it. I sat there and watched two episodes. Uh, the first one was... Uh, the first one being the time travel one. Uh, basically the first thing I see, besides Spike dreaming about ice cream or some shit, and I don't remember, is fucking... Big boss co coming back through time to warn you of whatever. I'm like, what is this? Like, what is this Metal Gear shit I'm looking at? And afterwards, uh, it was the Mystery Express or whatever. And that, <laughs> I'm sitting there like, you know what? All right, and I just, I just watched the rest of it. I recorded the rest of it, and to this day, I'm not sure if my parents ever saw like 20 recordings of the show on the television. Because sometimes, when the television would go out, they would get a recording of Gunsmoke or whatever that they put on, or that they had me put on. I don't remember. I don't know if they ever noticed that shit, and I kind of hope they didn't. But yeah, I basically just watched the show basically out of order. I did watch like the two-parter shit, like in order. So there's that. And I was basically hooked on this stupid garbage. So I went on YouTube, I... I don't know if I ever really went to DeviantArt much beforehand, but
but that made me make an account so I could sit there and favorite a bunch of stuff. And I, I, I'm not quite sure if I actually deleted the account. I most likely did, but I'm just going to make sure, just in case, because I, there was a, because I, I, if I deleted that, then all those favorites are gone, and then, man, I kind of want to go back and see them, but all these videos I discovered on YouTube, it, it was something else. Uh, I'm not sure how, but I discovered a very particular person named Jack T. Herbert. His channel used to be called Quendalum or something, somewhat along those lines. And he had a little series called Jack Reacts. I don't know if I... I don't know how long, like, the Fine Brothers did their shtick. I think I've seen a couple of them at that point, but basically what I knew about reaction videos at that time and before then, before 2012, like all, what was popular to do was people would react to two girls, one cup. There's this old man that, that somebody showed that shit to he's like this doesn't bother me he gave that look that old people give to cameras when they're being recorded they're like this doesn't bother me there these are a couple of lesbianas that like that's what he said and it was the funniest shit in the planet yeah there was a few other videos of that nature that i kind of want to go back and see if they're still there but that was my real introduction to reaction videos and I don't know if if like this type of content popularized it I'm I, I'm pretty sure it did from what I know of I could be wrong but I think this whole thing kind of popularized that genre of video because oh god the things that man watched that he introduced me to. Like, that's where I saw the Homer Simpson Pony Thread Simulator videos. Ugh. Ugh. What the fuck was that? Yeah, it was like a persimmon or something. Persimmons aren't that big. It was the, it was the green thing. Like, persimmons are these little gross things that raccoons and possums eat. There's these big green things that I don't know what they are, and they just fall off that tree. <coughs> no, they're not pears. Okay. Jeez. I got, I got two wrinkles on my brain. I don't have the full set, but I got a couple. Uh, but yeah, those pony thread simulators <laughs> introduced me to that cursed, cursed website. Ugh. <laughs> but I'll never, but I'll always appreciate it. The things that I've seen. Before I get back to the things I've seen on, on slash MLP, I'm going to get through a couple of things that uh, Jack reacted to. He introduced me to Ratchet. At the time, he was Ratchetness. Nowadays, he's Ratchet Noble Wolf. Or just Noble. And I don't know what's going on with that guy. I hope he's okay. I really do. Like, if you, I've, I've watched him throughout the years. And you could always tell that just with the what he talks about in his videos, something's wrong. Just with his personal life and all that. And 
the last thing he said at this point in time is just kind of like a vague, depressing message. And he went dark. I don't know if he... I've only seen him on Twitter and and YouTube, of course. No, I don't know if he has like a anything else that he would update or whatever at any point in time. I hope he's okay. Because that he's a great YouTuber. His videos are, are really good. And I would highly recommend checking them out. Because most of them actually aren't pony related. Some of them are furry related. But, but I don't not. But yeah, he basically kind of just stopped to... Uh, for the most part, making those types of reaction videos, he, he would do them sometimes, and basically just replace them with anime reactions. That whole genre. <laughs> Jesus, I think some of them are gone, but whatever. Yeah, back to Jack. He introduced me to, to the Threat Simulators, Noble Wolf, and, uh, and ask me tumblers. Oh boy, those were something else. The, uh, I'm not sure. The one that I remember. No, there's two, two and three that he that he did that I'm I remember. Crapplejack. Uh. The hot diggity demon one. Where there's the Dot Moth series, of course. That's what he introduced me to. And basically, like what he did at the time is he made this whole little series of, uh, of Ask Me Tumblers where, like, Japalak, that's what it was called. Or this awful, stupid version of Applejack would get transported to, like, the real version the normal version of it. While, oh God, the, uh, the other videos came out. And basically what I guess everyone was waiting for was Dash.Mov. And I guess that whole thing was the build up to it. And basically Dash.Mov had nothing to do with that whole little story up until the very end where she came in and started explaining everything. And I'm like, ah, ah, I know what she's talking about. I read that shit. I seen it. I seen it. And, and Spike's like, I don't know what gives a shit. <laughs> there was this one that had to do with Luna where they wore those little cutesy socks that are everybody draws the characters in like it was a <laughs> I don't know what it is it was porn and like grim dark depressing shit at the same time there was that blog which I don't remember much about I, I think Shirley was in it and they God, I don't know. Yeah, there's Crapplejack. For some reason, there's a minefield surrounding Sweet Apple Acres. And, and she has a sniper rifle defending her homestead from God knows what. <laughs> there's I think that's where that picture of her like drowning out her sorrows comes from and the last thing I remember from it is this just the deer you know that deer from uh, from Adventure Time where it took the hooves off and had fingers it, it was something like that except it was more like a it was more glowy and realistic looking. I, I don't know if it had like a skull face or whatever, if it, but it was, I think it was glowy and shit. 
I don't know, but that's the last thing I remember from that little story, whatever the hell that was. And I don't think you reacted to these other two that I'm talking about, but I think I just discovered them on my own through Tumblr. Uh, I think it was called Little Miss Rarity. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I don't remember much. Like, she carved, I think she carved the heart in her chest or something. Uh, she stuck a knife up her ass. And I think she accidentally killed Sweetie Belle with a toaster or something and buried her body way back in the woods or something. Uh, I don't know. I need to go back and see what the hell that was. And there's this one more that I remember. And this is the strangest one of all. Yeah, I, I know what I said. I didn't stutter. It was one about Fluttershy. And, uh, basically, she's like, uh, she's, she's gone full American Psycho, basically. Like, kind of punisher -y, but more American psycho -y, you know what I mean? It's like a mix between the two, I guess, in terms of vigilantism or whatever the hell. Uh, one thing I remember is like she, like she kidnaps this girl and Skins her or something? I don't know. It's, it's basically torture porn. That whole shit. I, I forget what the hell she does to her. But eventually, it shifts. Suddenly, it's anthro and hypersexualized when it wasn't really before. It was just the normal designs, basically. Suddenly, Anthro is the same story, same whatever, except for <laughs> except she's got giant tits now. She's got them flutter hooters. And Pinkie Pie is fat. I don't know. It, it was basically porn at that point. And I don't think it was before. I don't remember seeing anything like that. And the strangest thing I think I've ever seen was this one part where she basically kidnaps this guy that's that's basically Epstein. And I don't know, like, like she has these... I don't know, like, there's these tubes. I think she sticks them up his ass <laughs> and down his mouth and just fills it with blood. Where she got this amount of blood, I don't know. But... <laughs> like, like she, she, she explains, like, what the hells we're looking at, and then she goes off to, like, the galloping gala or something while he's like that <laughs> oh oh god I, I still remember it I remember what it looked like and that will never leave my head ever I think he also introduced me to band from Equestria too Remember the fan fictions? You know, the big ones that everybody made videos about? I remember. I remember. I wish I didn't remember. Cupcakes. Oh my god. I, I have to reread that. That was something.
No. Oh, oh, one more thing. My little dashy. Remember that? Oh, you know what? At the time, I didn't know better, so it got to me. It did get... I watched somebody read it. So they would, I think they would like add some of these visuals and some, maybe some music. Just a li I don't remember. I, I don't know. If, actually, I don't remember if I actually did read it myself first or if I just watched somebody. There was also Twy and Me. There was... Okay, there was Mike the Microphone and someone else. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember his name. But they did readings of Twy and Me, which led to a particular videos that, to be recommended. Well, not recommended, because I don't think that really existed at the time. To be shown on the side, there was a reaction to that video by these two guys and uh <clears throat> basically uh i don't know i can't explain it like i am that's what i'm doing they were reacting to that mic the microphone video of that reading and <laughs> they're just they're just sitting there like lying on their stomachs next to each other all comfy like and they had a sonic screwdriver <laughs> and uh, that they kept pressing the button on and their like little youtuber intro was at troll whatever was zach right i think his name was zach right or the wrestler the guy who said woo 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 you know it that's what they did as their little outro thing <laughs> that I'll never forget <laughs> I forgot what I was going to talk about remember Skittles is cool people shamed him out of his fedora and I'll never forgive them for that <laughs> oh let's see fan fiction yeah the rainbow factory Obviously, that song, oh god, <laughs> those off colors, my god, what are these people thinking with these color schemes, god, uh, jeez, oh god, all that music, Jesus, like, I'll, I'll never forget that Discord music video that that guy made, like, uh, honestly, I rewatched it recently. It's not bad. It's kind of neat. Your wooden toaster. Uh, I forget who else. I don't know. I don't remember much about the music that I, that I heard back then. Y'all remember that stupid music video and that stupid story. There's this one video I remember <laughs> where, where people, it's a group of people, and I guess they're in a Skype call or something, because I don't think Discord existed yet, where they, <clears throat> they read a porn version of My Little Dashy. <laughs> what? Uh, let's see what else. The Bag Lady. Remember that guy? He he made these videos. He it was non-brony reacts or watches or whatever, and his channel's gone. That Hasbro struck a blow to him. <laughs> he was a funny guy. His videos may still be available. Maybe I'll look for him. They might be on Daily Motion or Vimeo or something. But I'll look. There might be archives. I don't know. But as far as I know, that shit's gone forever. And it's unfortunate. 
maybe he's still out there. Maybe I can just look him up and his he still makes videos that aren't that. And I can watch him anyways. I, I hope so. I hope he kept making stuff. Because at the time, I liked that. There was a video where, where a bunch of bronies watched G3, an episode of that. <laughs> Uh, that was something uh, that exists by the things I've seen. Yeah, who else was there in terms of e-celebs? There was Dusty. He got mad about some spaghetti. He's like, take your spaghetti and get out of here. Which I think is a overreaction. But that's just me, personally. There might be some context that I don't know. God, Mando Pony. Uh, all I really know about that guy is that uh, uh, people called him certain names and made certain jokes about him that I'm not going to repeat because that, that is most likely slander. <laughs> But I was just recently randomly recommended one of his old ass videos and I just looked at his channel. He's his name is still Mando Pony, but like like the banner is just like an album of him and is just his name. Like nothing to do with that. So obviously <laughs> Obviously he's gonna move on to Undertale. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's where that money lies. Hey, I can't blame you. I think his name was Jax. Jax Blade? Or am I getting him mixed up with someone else? I don't know. I don't know. I just remember a video of a buff black guy <laughs> talking about how he got into this mess. And it's like, Man, that's like he just randomly comes across it, watches a clip of it, and goes, Man, this is kind of cute. Am I gay for watching this shit? What? And then he says he like goes on the internet and, uh, Jesus, uh, he sees a bunch of other stuff. He's like, Other people are like this too. I'm not alone. Good. Like he had these, he had these big arms. <laughs> Obviously, with Banned from Equestria, I kind of sat there and waited for the game to be finished. I was like, uh, like, it was entertaining. <laughs> the games like that are entertaining. <laughs> Just, they're so stupid. There was, uh, TRY. Where we last left off was, uh, uh, TRY or something, I don't know. I watched for the video so I could remember what I talked about and what I wanted to talk about. So, uh, there was... The next thing was was two snacks. He's, he's still going at it. He's still making stuff to this day. And... I don't know. I might have watched... Like some of the old Machinima videos before I watched those animations. But he's basic. But Two Snacks is basically the reason why these games are in my collection. Uh, I guess this. That. This. This one. Uh, these dudes. With the dragon tattoos. I need to clean that sticker off. It's been like that for years. And apparently this is on PC now, so... I guess I can look at that. Maybe it runs slightly better. It might run exactly the same like Saints Row 2. That game runs exactly the same on PC as it does console, which is baffling. 
uh, this, the game you need to patch in order for half of it to be playable, only on PS3, no patch on 360. And yeah, that. So that's the reason why those games exist in my home. Thanks to Snacks, I appreciate it. I mean, I found out about Metal Gear and Devil May Cry from uh, other places. Yeah, like, and Mass Effect and whatever else. Another fighting. There's one more, wait a minute, that I forgot to get. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that too. Thanks. There's, uh, yeah, two snacks. The other animations that I have written down up here. Uh, there's Rainbow Dash Presents, which, go back and watch those. Those, those are pretty good, I remember. Uh, how that, that right there. Uh, there's, uh, there's the, the one where, uh, I think it's the same guy who did these two. Uh, it's the one where, uh, Octavia fights off all the changelings. And I think the same guy did Friendship is Manly. <laughs> I'll never forget, uh, having, putting the tea thing the tea bag in your mouth and then pouring the scalding hot water in the in your mouth. That's that's pretty creative. Uh, there's there's a source filmmaker stuff, which I'm glad there's finally seems to be new, different, better looking models that you can use. Uh, I mean, if you search the on Derpy Buru and find the, the NSFW stuff, this, ugh, ugh, that old stuff is just, ugh, that don't look good. Those heads on those bodies is the worst <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> That's awful. There's a couple Flash games that I remember. And nowadays, I think people still kind of play something called Ponytown or something. Where you're all, like, Anon Philly or whatever. I, I, I'd like to check that game out. There's a, there's a Fallout Equestria <laughs> a game that exists. I, I have it bookmarked, and I need to go back and actually download it. I kind of wish I downloaded it at the time, just to save the trouble, I guess. It's like a 2D thing. God, I, I have to read Fallout Equestria. To this day, I still haven't. And I also need to read that, <laughs> that Smash Brothers fan fiction. That's really really long for some reason i i mean like like ddd smacks mario across the face like well what else do you need i have i still have my old fim fiction account and i have all my old relators on it and i'm gonna go back through them and hold up hold up Things get dark and bright again when I do the salute to our furrer. There's a bunch of stuff that I still have on the read later that I should probably just go back and look at. Just out of curiosity, I guess. And make, maybe make videos about them. Like, two or three of them are superhero related. They're cape shit related. The one's about Batman in Equestria, one is about Superman in Equestria, and one is about the Hulk in Equestria. <laughs> and I think they're all by the same guy. 
that's silly. But there's a couple other stories that, like, legitimately seem interesting that I should go back and see about. Uh, there's, yeah, Flash games I was talking about. Flash games. There's two that I remember. No, three. Can't forget that one. That's and None of these are TROI related, don't worry. We're not going to be listening to any Castlevania music with these. <laughs> there's... There's Story of the Blanks, which Cinnamon Toast Ken played, I remember. And... The, 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 and there was the... If you look at the Newgrounds videos on Oni Plays, they played that for a few minutes. There's one that you can find on onemorelevel.com. Uh, whatever it is, I'm pretty sure it's called. It's one based off of Slender Man. There was a bit of fan art way back then about Slender Man and this whole thing kind of crossed over in a way. And... Someone made a little top-down flash game where I think you're derpy and you have to go around and get obviously get the pages. Why make a PG-13 horror movie? Why? Like making like a like a G-rated one where the kid goes, I'm not afraid of you anymore. Like that makes sense. Like if you make that one movie that that's about that move if you make a movie like that that makes sense uh but like a pg-13 movie where you just kind of half-ass it yeah there's a slender man game slender mare whatever i don't know there's uh there's the official one that was on hasbro's website i believe i'm i'm pretty sure it's official um, because you play, it, it's like an Atari 2600 game, except there's the other Atari systems that look slightly better graphically, that are slightly more detailed, and it looks more in line with one of those other consoles. Speaking of the Atari, I remember back when I first discovered Angry Video Game Nerd, AVGN, I remember one of the little pieces of fan art that he had as part of, like, his channel thing. Because back in, before they changed it to just be on the top, it, you had a bunch of art that you could put throughout. Okay, there's the front, and then there's the background. In terms of the UI, when you go to someone's channel, uh... There was all kinds of neat things people would do with that. And, uh, yeah, AVGN had a bunch of little different pieces of fan art, and one of them was, <laughs> was the pony one that I remember. Uh, and back to the Flash game. Did I just... Did I know what that was at the time? Did I notice, like, the, the pony art at the time? I don't remember. Like... Because I watched AV, AVGN for a little bit before that, like maybe 2011, early 2012, I remember just going through all those videos and having the best time. The, yeah, God. And back to the game, you pick whichever one of the main six that you want. And you have to go through these levels and do whatever. Yeah, I'll never forget playing that little game. Uh, I don't think there was anything else similar that they had that you could play on that website. Maybe one or two weird little things. I don't know. But yeah, like like these children's show networks would always have like these flash games on their websites. Uh, with Cartoon Network, I think they still have an archive. Last I checked, which was years ago, they still had an archive of all their really old ones. 
There you could go through. I think some of them might have a difficult time functioning nowadays unless you unless you use like a virtual machine and use old versions of browsers and shit to maybe somehow get it to work. No, I don't know. Yeah, like Nickelodeon had this archive of really old stuff. Like that licorice game with the Halloween. Uh, <laughs> I don't like black licorice. Or whatever it is they said. They also had uh, Nick at Night themed stuff. Like there was like a game based off of that dentist show. That nobody remembers except for me. Um, Derpy Boru. And the shit I've seen on there. Oh, God. Hey, remember Fluffy Ponies? Remember that shit? <laughs> don't, don't fuck that shit up. That is... Like, I, I said something about, like, this whole shit being banned on other boards except for slash MLP, but on B, the, I think I think sometimes on B you would have fluffy threads. I think. And I think there might have been clump threads at the time. I'm not, I don't remember. But but obviously now there's the hidden board trash which has your clop dumps or whatever. The only, one of the only reasons I visit that board was I would go through the Loud House General at the time and I have a whole other video that I could just talk about that shit. The shit I've seen on that General which I, I don't really visit anymore. It's still there. I mean there was even Universe General and then there was Zootopia General but I never really visited those. I still need to watch Steven Universe and make a YouTube editorial about it, about everything that's wrong with it and why you're stupid for liking it. I need to go on about doing that someday. <laughs> that one picture of Lynn with the, with the sander thing. <laughs> with the sandpaper. Oh. Oh, God. There's the fluffy shit, which never, ever looked that up. Don't ever look up that Smurf website, baby website. Don't ever look that up. Just, just don't. Because that shit's kind of similar. It's very, very similar to fluffy pony shit. There was a bunch of generals on Slash MLP. There's uh, the Bradical Adventures of Normal Norman, which I never really read through. The only stuff I really read through was Anon and Equestria and, uh, and Flutterate. <laughs> Oh, those were something else. Oh, there was another thing I read through that was, that had a, like a little, tiny, short little lifespan and then went away forever. It's those, uh, it's those crusty chronicles that uh, you could call them. Like the whole premise is that obviously somebody starts something with a dumb joke and then it devolves into all these stories that people write and oh god and the whole joke was uh it was this right here and that devolved into all these disgusting stories that I'll never forget one of them was uh, 
<laughs> one of them was about Rainbow Dash's father uh, licking her clean. There was one about uh, Celestia. It, it was like an Anon one where you, you uh, clean her off. Oh. And those are the only two I remember. Uh, God. There's the Finger Bang General. I never really read through that one much. And then there was... Uh, they got rid of Ass Worship General, which... Eh... Yeah. There, there was these threads about... A, this would picture was the start of it. It was like the, the maid stories. That's all I really remember in terms of reoccurring things on that part of the website. Uh, there's another thing that happens that still happens to this day. And I'm going to call him Barney Friend for YouTube's sake. Uh, his name is Lee or something. And basically, let's say I posted this picture or this picture or, or this picture. Now, you'll notice a common theme is that they're subtle. They're subtly from something that is MLP related. This one is, is a picture of Scootaloo laughing, like a human one. Now, the only thing, part of that picture that has to do with MLP is the hairstyle. You know what I mean? These other two pictures, I think, are from this one comic that I need to finish. Uh, uh, God, I, I forget what that one was, but it's my Steam avatar. But if you post these pictures, a particular person with a mustache that glistens in the sun and an awful weird bowl haircut, he's like a deranged dirty version of Eddie Burback that never became a father. Well, never looked like your father, I guess. But he comes comes out of that hole named Canada and he starts posting. He starts posting these pictures, these screen caps of uh, like, like people getting into arguments over this shit. Like the, the time slot stuff. Uh, <laughs> every time. Like, he gets banned over and over and over again. Like, I think he got a lot of Canada range banned when it comes to IP addresses. I think that's what I heard. I don't know how he does it, or if there's just people copycatting him. But if you if you do it on poll, which has the flags, the way poll works is if you don't choose your own little meme flag, which is like a confederate or a or an anarchist or whatever tree hugger flag, if you don't choose those flags, you get a flag that's based off of your IP address. That I that flag is Canadian every single time I've seen it on poll. And I don't know how. How do you like is it somebody using a Canadian VPN and somehow getting past the range ban? I don't know. Uh, but I don't know how people even figured out who it was, and if that person even is him, that's his, that's a whole ordeal that you'll never find on any other website. There's a 
Back to eCelebs, there's the Brony React series, which is AC88, I think the channel's name was. Which, it was just a copy of the Fine Brothers and their format. Except, you know, they would get a bunch of people and, you know, notable people in the community on YouTube and have them react to, like, certain types of things. And it was mostly, like, to the show itself. Because I remember the season four finale where, <laughs> where Twilight goes Super Saiyan blue <laughs> on the... Uh, on whatever the hell his name is, Tyriac or something. I forget his name. The guy who's basically Cell. And like they just go full Dragon Ball Z fight and destroy the treehouse and replace it with the crystal one. And I just remember that one video of them reacting to that shit. <laughs> that was wild. Man... Ooh, like I'll I'll never forget seeing that episode for the first time that I could not believe my eyes. Yeah, just for the next few years up until yeah, obviously I watched the first two seasons. I'm, I'm hot. I'm ready to go for season three. Gak happens. Um, you know, go through season three watch season four and I think season five was in 2015 and by that point I was a little bit ponied out like I was still in I was enjoying what I was watching of season five right there's nothing wrong with it that I remember at the time I was enjoying it like the last episode I remember is the one with that one Coco or something? Uh, I don't remember. That one. That's the last I remember. And after that, I took a five-year break, like a four or five-year break from it. And suddenly, suddenly I'm on Co and I, somebody mentions that the finale, parts of the finale kind of got leaked. And I'm like, what? We're, we're on the finals part? We're, we're at the end? The, the ride is over? And, and I just I scroll up to the top of the page. I click on, on slash MLP and just all these memories come flowing through my head. It's like that one video of the cat with the with a flower placed on its head. Like, that's what's going through my mind. Like, everything I just talked about just filled my mind again. I completely forgot about everything. Up until now. And... Jeez. <laughs> I just... And now, it's on the actual 10th anniversary of it afterwards when this goes up obviously because it it'll take a while to edit through it the way i want it but hey the ride never ends uh, i'll never forget this as as long as i live some people they, they they got off that ride and they're like i don't want anything to do with that anymore and i can't blame them i don't I understand why, but I don't know. I'll always kind of appreciate it. What I, the things I, the stupid things I've seen. I don't know. Hey, the ride never ends. It's Mrs. Faust's wild, wild ride. Hold the front door. I've, I forgot to talk about something. I just got done filming. I'm just walking outside, and I'm like, the cringe! And then I just start force Gump women back inside in order to do this. Oh my god, how could I forget the best part? 
Ugh, I look disgusting. But, oh god, there's, let's see. What do I remember? There's one video I remember in particular. Uh, I think, I think season three is when Babs, Seed or whatever the hell her name is, I don't remember. That's when she shows up for like an episode. And <clears throat> they had the Bad Seed song, I think. There's this one video of some kid. Uh, he's probably around my age or something. I don't know, maybe slightly older than what I was at the time. Um, <clears throat> and he's in his room, and there's like a bunk bed behind him or something. And his friend is like in the back room, like... He's like either on his back or on his stomach, and he's playing his 3DS or something. <laughs> and... And this dude is just making a little, like, song and dance of the song while it's playing. And it's the, it's the funniest shit in the world. Ah, uh, What else? Uh, I don't think anybody ever talked about that one in particular that I've ever heard of. I've only ever seen it the one time put being posted. There is the McDonald's guy. We'll never forget him. He wanted the Fluttershy toy instead of whatever the hell he got. I don't know. I'll never... <laughs> That's... You could just... You could just buy which ones you want, I think. I think you're able to go up and say, I need... I, you, I think you're able to just get which ones you want at whatever price point they would be by themselves, I don't know. I'm pretty sure you're able to do that. Like, if not, then I don't know. Because why, like, if you're able to get what you want, why can't you just, instead of going back to McDonald's over and over again to hopefully get whatever toy you want when you're a little tiny baboo, like, uh, I don't know. I, I guess most people don't know if you can do that or not, so. <laughs> uh, I barely remember, like, what he says in the video. God. And the two... Yeah, there's the disc... There's a guy at the talent show. We'll never forget him. Yeah, I was outside. My face is a little red, I guess. But... The, the talent show Discord guy is mm, beautiful. Uh, that's what I meant by the classroom. Come into your classroom. And there's this video I didn't know existed uh, until it was talked about on Oni Place. And that's the, I'll, I'll just link to that part in the description. The hell are you doing? Piss off. Meh. Meh. But oh god, that that one is really funny. I mean, jeez. I don't know. Like, there's this one little story somebody told. There's a bunch of stories people told on Slash MLP about, about their cringe stories that they've had personally. And there, But there's one little story that I remember. And, like, the guy's taken, like, a psychiatrics class for, like, to learn to be a psychiatrist or whatever. And, like, the assignment is to pick a cartoon character and do a profiling on them, and this guy, piss off. This guy picks Pinkie Pie, and he said that when he was doing it, this black guy said, she fine. <laughs> like, oh my god, <laughs> what is, 
Like, if he doesn't know who that is, particularly, if he doesn't know anything about any of that, and he's just like, damn, she's she fine, though. She thick. Pink and pie thick, though. Like, there's something with that guy. <laughs> Like, he probably spent some time on these 621 or something. Oh. But God. I don't know. Like, I don't know how you go about finding these stories that people tell in the archives. Uh, but there's a bunch of awful stuff that happened when they, got, when they get caught jerking off to this shit. Um, no, I look too red for the camera. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that's disgusting. But, uh, I should back up from the camera. <laughs> but there's a lot of shit like that. And there's, uh, there's Metal Griffin and Venom. The, the, uh, uh, yeah, there's the Brony of Happiness, the Burdened, Airplane Allen and the rest of the crew. Uh. Oh, jeez. But yeah, Metal Griffin and Venom. Those are wonderful, wonderful things I'm going to show to you. Oh. Uh, I, I don't know if there's, like, anything else that's particular like that. I mean... Like, you can't blame Venom, because, I mean, I wanted to go to prom with Luna, too. I mean, shit. Who wouldn't? I mean, you can't, you can't blame the guy for, for wanting that. Uh, <laughs> but having Fluttershy piss in your face is just, nah, I mean, I'm good. Then, whatever. One more thing before I forget. The guy who married the Twilight doll. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna. Oh! The guy who had the, has a kid, and he also bought, he commissioned and bought this whole giant poster printout of the Equestria Girls versions of all these characters fucking, and put it on his wall. And he's just like, enjoy, this is in my home. I'm just letting you know that. So... No, but those are two particular things, and I, I don't know, but that, <laughs> oh boy, I mean, there's this one story that, that somebody told where he had this print out of uh, the girl from Gurren Lagann, and it's uh, drawn in a very particular way. He had that printed out at Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember much about it. If I can find that story, I'll, I'll show it. I'll make a whole video of the 4chan screen caps like, like Mudahar did with that one, with the, that one guy. Because there's a whole bunch that I have saved. And some that I kind of wish I saved that I saw way back when. But but that's another video for another day. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how to end this. Other than maybe I showed you, told you about some things you might find entertaining to go back and look at. So maybe there's some stuff that you've. Maybe you watched that stuff back then, and may maybe you can go back and see stuff that you never heard of before and get some enjoyment out of that. 
but bye. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. The Great Equestria Girls Shitstorm. Twilight getting wings. More horse sticks than you could shake a stick at. All moments lost in time. Like tears in rain. Time to die. Actually, before I go, tell my mother I'm sorry about the things she saw in Derpy Boru. That Brayburn comic was just so good. <laughs> y you know the one. <laughs> Where Spike and Shining Armor get it on for some reason. I can't really remember. Yeah, just tell her I'm sorry about all that shit. Thank you. Time to die. I'm not a fan of puppeteers, but a nagging fear that one else is pulling on the strings. The bit terrible is going down throughout the entire town. Nay, anarchy and all the brings. I can't sit idly, no, I can't move at all. I curse the name, the one behind it all. Discord, I'm staring at the moon and sleeping in the middle of a summer afternoon. Discord, whatever did we do to break your tyranny away? I don't know what the hell the ending of that said. Jesus.